Planet Dolan. From whether we can breathe liquid oxygen to what we call a male ladybug, we answer some of your most burning questions about life. Hello there. My name is Shima, and I'll be reading out the questions and answers. I'm Danger Dolan, and I'm here to blow your mind with truth. Alejandro Castellano asks, does the sun have a shadow? On the edge of our solar system, there's a dark sun that spends all of its time crying, writing poetry, and listening to my chemical romance. We try not to talk about it too much because it's really embarrassing to admit in front of the aliens. Some star systems have two stars orbiting each other and can cast shadows by having the dimmer star orbit in front of the brighter star. Our own star has cooler dark areas called sunspots that look dark because they're shadowing the bright plasma core. Harry Mulroy asks, why does uranium glow? It's actually called uranium and it only glows when it's peed on. This wouldn't happen if it went for its hypnotizing powers that convince scientists to pee on it. Why on earth would it want to be peed on? Oh, it's just into that sort of thing. Don't go judging when you lick your own butthole, cat. Uranium doesn't actually glow, since the light it emits is outside the visible spectrum. Radium, however, does glow when you mix it with zinc sulfide. That glow is what happens when electrons change energy levels, thanks to the reaction of the two chemicals. Tanya Jelly asks, why does Australia have the scariest insects? Don't be silly, they're actually fluffy, friendly, and make great pets. Just look at him. Isn't he adorable? Oh yes he is, oh yes he is. Give me a kiss, you cutie pie. I don't, I don't feel uh, sir. This is because cold-blooded animals are just better suited to Australia, and the most efficient types of cold-blooded animals are venomous and very efficient killers. Once they get their meal, they can wait out the harsher times of the year when food is scarce. Uh, are you okay? I feel better than ever! Look, I can fly! And the spider can't hurt me at all! No, wait, that's a- You can't hurt me! Ghost spider. Isabella Ruiz asks, why are bubbles always circular? Well, it's all to do with the shape of your mouth. When you blow a bubble, you make a circle. Some people have really weird shaped mouths and they can make bubbles in the shape of some weird nonsense. This is because bubbles naturally want to take up the least amount of space possible, thanks to something called surface tension. The least amount of space possible is a sphere while it's in the air, but once it's on a surface, it can form other, more complex shapes. Captain Nekomata asks, what is half of infinity? Well, if you take the infinity symbol, and turn it around so you can see that it's actually an 8, when you cut that 8 in half, you get two zeros. Now here's the tricky part. Now you need to divide them together. But if you do it right, you should get 4. And that is half of infinity. Let's say we take out an infinite number of odd numbers from our infinity. How much is left? Well, there's an infinite number of even numbers left, so it's still infinity. This is one of the reasons why infinity isn't a number, but instead more of a concept. Snowfall AJ AJ asks, Can you breathe in liquid oxygen? Well, when you breathe out, you breathe out carbon dioxide. So you might wonder where your oxygen goes. You sweat it out in its liquid form, and boy does it taste great! Yes, actually. If you get an oxygen-rich fluid, with some other chemicals in there since we need more than just oxygen, you can breathe it just fine. Scientists think it might be useful to use such liquids for space exploration and deep sea diving. Try it! It's delicious! Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, is this your sweat? Well, where else would you get liquid oxygen? Jess Ong HD Productions asks, Why does the solar eclipse happen? The moon is just really awkward and it's constantly getting in the way of the sun. But try to be nice to it. It does mean well. Oh, uh, 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 sorry. Uh, let me just. Uh, I'll just try and get over here. My spaghetti. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm so sorry. A total solar eclipse is a very rare and very special phenomenon. The only reason it happens is that the moon is both 400 times smaller as well as 400 times closer to us than the sun. Thanks to this, the moon covers just the right amount and we get this spectacular effect. What do you call a male ladybug? They're known as manly bugs and they help us make anything from park benches to gigantic buildings. You can tell who they are by looking at their trademark yellow heads and their orange and white torsos. Why are ladybugs so small then? Because they're smelly girls. How do you know they're smelly if you have no nose? <laughs> That's too far, Shema. That's too far. Ladybugs are known as a ladybug no matter what their gender is. 
Funnily enough, that's not all that's wrong with their name. Since they aren't even bugs, they're beetles. Which is why you might hear people refer to them as ladybirds or lady beetles. Hyrule Legend asks, how is cancer caused? Cancer is just a dancer who learns the can-can, like me. I can, I can do the can-can, we can do the can-can, everyone can do the can 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 cancer Yes, I am the cancer, you can be a cancer if you do the can-can-can like your hero doll in the cancer of can-can. The two main ways cancer can happen is through inheriting it from your parents or because of harmful substances collectively called carcinogens such as tobacco smoke or radiation. What cancer actually is, is a cell with mutated DNA that never stops growing or reproducing. The Black Phoenix asks, why are stars in space all different colors? Colors. Well, the sun is yellow because that's the correct color for a star to be. The other so-called stars are just dead pixels in our atmosphere, which is why we keep making super bright lights in our cities so we can't see them anymore. This is because different stars burn at different temperatures. The cooler stars burn a deep red, whereas hotter stars burn blue. Our star might look yellow close up, but further away, it's actually in the mid-range of burning white. Ha! Finally caught you! I knew you were lying all along! I... what? Our sun is in white, and blue isn't hotter than red. It is white if you look at it from far away. Didn't you ever take science class? Who is a science? Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one!